中。Hi, it's Kevin here. Hmm, bit noisy outside, but still. So, welcome to my office. This is my headquarters for IELTS 9 Pro. Now, um, what we're going to do today, um, in the channel, as you've seen every day, people keep saying, I can't get more than 6, more than 6.5. What is wrong? Is it IDP? marking me down? Is it the British Council marking me down? And in most of these cases, the answer is no. It's because your writing is not good enough according to their criteria. So to emphasize this point, what we're going to do, I have an essay here sent by a member of the channel, and he's agreed to allow me to read through it uh, point out the mistakes and show what you need, well, what you, he, needs to do to uh, get over 6.5. Now, we have um, a commentary on the essay by his teacher, an Iranian teacher. We'll take a look at that in comparison with the essay, and I'm going to be referring to the criteria to show you exactly why it gets the score it does, and what he and you need to improve. So, let's take a look. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to be referring to the official criteria to uh, emphasize my points here. So let's see what we have. So, a growing number of people feel that animals should not be exploited by people. They should have the same rights as humans, while others argue that humans must employ animals there is needs, including uses for food and research. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay, okay. Now, um, I'm usually in favour of, for your introduction, sentence one, you paraphrase, mention what the views are, and give your opinion. So, as the millennium marches on, well, that's irrelevant. Um, nothing to do with the question. Okay. The debate about using animals for needs of humans seems not to diminish in severity among the masses. <laughs> well, where does it say that? All it says is a growing number of people feel that animals should not be exploited. So this is rather a long-winded way of paraphrasing. Now look, let me show you this, right? So to get a nine, obviously, you know, you are aiming for above that, but still. Right, a clear, fully developed position which directly answers the question, right? So this is key. The high scoring essay, we have to directly not go round about, you know, uh, like what this, um, as the millennium marches on, seems not to diminish. Okay, but that's not really what the question says. Okay. While there are persuasive arguments in favor of not using animals, for human needs, which are, which are what exactly? I am inclined to believe. Now, is that a clear position? I'm inclined to believe, but maybe I'm not inclined. What does it mean? Simply say, I agree, I disagree, in my opinion, in my view, right? Direct and clear. These are the key words, direct and clear. It's clear. This is what I think. This is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to talk about. So, you know, if we look at, at seven, a clear position. Okay, so that introduction could be improved. So let's, we'll continue. So it's a little, it's a little general and there's no outline sentence. So the paraphrase is not that, not, is not that good. It doesn't say anything about that, really. And we don't really have an outline. It says, well, there's some arguments, but what are they? And then we have a kind of opinion. So right from the start, it's not so clear. From animal rights campaigns, you mean campaigners, points of view, there are several reasons why 
animals should have equal rights as humans. Okay, good. Okay, firstly, all forms of using animals range from killing them to conducting experiments on them involves the suffering or, well, yeah, go on, the suffering of these creatures. Okay, so it's not good. They should have equal rights. Um, first of all, using animals, okay. Suffering. For example, when experimenting on a lab a laboratory mouse, a disease is injected into its body in order to find a cure. To find the cure for what exactly? Little now, right, right, right. Do do do. If it's too general, right? So we have a, a position that is connected to the prompt or topic, but it needs to be clear. What exactly? A disease. What kind of a, a disease? A cure. What kind of a cure? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So what the examiners want, right? They want you to give ideas which relate to the prompt are fully extended. I mean, explained, developed and well supported with good reasons and examples. If you don't, then your task score will be a little bit low. So, back to the essay. Let's see what we have. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of general. Such a disease could cause extreme pain for the mouse. Uh, okay, therefore it is deemed an inhuman act. You've got to watch your grammar here. There's a few mistakes. That would pull your uh, band score down. Therefore, it is deemed an inhumane act by many people. Okay, so first you're talking about several reasons why they should have rights. Okay, and then you say that exp uh, all forms of using animals involves some kind of suffering. Okay, um, then we've got a very kind of general example. Okay. Furthermore... There is ample evidence showing that there are alternative methods conducting research on many diseases which do not involve animals at all. Computer simulation has been shown to be an adequate substitute. Okay, okay, okay. Now, that isn't too bad. That isn't bad. Uh, now, one thing, though, you've got to watch your cohesive markers. Okay, so... That's things like, firstly, therefore, furthermore, for example, you don't have to have one at the beginning of every sentence, right? If they're mechanical because of overuse. So, for example, if we go back here, all right, so we've got firstly, for example, furthermore, you know, so you've got to watch those. You can use them, but don't overuse them, okay? Despite the above reasons, uh, I tend to believe that animal expectation is inevitable for human health. To begin with various studies, what studies, by whom, very general, that's what I'm talking about. Overgeneralization. Overgeneralization. What are you talking about? What studies? What research? Who says it? What, why, where, how? Okay, okay. Red meat is the main source of protein and nutritious food, which can be found in animals. Well, it's a part of the food. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have no choice but to kill farm animals such as cows to eat their meat. Therefore, well, some might argue that that's not strictly a logical consequence. Okay. But again, it's a little general. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've got to watch these discourse markers. Despite the above, to begin with, therefore, moreover, you know, what does it say? You've got to watch how you do it. You've got to watch them. If you overuse them, okay. So let's get back. Let's see what else we've got here. So, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, now, we've got a second reason here. You don't really need a second reason. Medical experience shows treatment for certain diseases. Uh, so this is the same thing that you were talking about in the previous um, paragraph. You said, 
Uh, computer simulation has been shown to be an adequate substitute. And then you contradict um, this in the next paragraph. Uh, so, okay. Uh, and we'll test and we'll found to function in such a situation. Uh, so you've got a bit of contradiction there uh, and repetition. Repetitive, you know, okay, okay. So, hmm. Some convincing views in favor of non exploitation. I'm of the opinion animals are main sources of human's diet, of human diet. And research sort of a use is impossible to be stopped. Well, you know, I mean, this isn't this isn't bad. It's not bad. It could be improved. What we need to, I mean, so there's some uh, there's some grammar. You know, now how your grammar score is calculated. It's the number of sentences that you write that do not contain a mistake. So to get uh, what are we? A seven, you have to make a frequent number of sentences without a mistake. So if you've got 12 sentences, you need at least half or more, six or seven without a mistake. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen sentences. So we need at least seven or uh, eight to be without an error. As the then marches on, you know, it's for needs of human, for the needs of humans, or human needs, for needs of humans, for the needs of humans, humankind seems not to diminish. Persuasive arguments in favour of not using animals for human needs. I mean, collectively, to believe it's one of my benefits. Okay, so we've got one sentence there. Uh, all forms of animals are coming soon. Okay. So. Three sentences, diseases, okay. So there's only three sentences out of 14 that do not contain a grammar mistake. So your grammar score is going to be quite low, a frequent. So there's a grammar an error in what 11 sentences out of 14 so that's not good so the grammar score would be low cohesion you need to watch that use of uh, discourse markers and it's you need to be more precise and clear directly answer the question vocab's not bad you know the vocabulary i i think there's some good you know there's some good uh, there's some interesting stuff yeah, it's not too uh, not too bad. We've got some good use of, of collocations, extreme pain, alternative methods, adequate substitute, etc. So the vocab score, I think, would be would be good. So let's have a quick look at what your uh, uh, examiner said. So okay, they didn't criticise that. Uh, okay. Rubric is paraphrased very well. Well, it isn't. <laughs> it isn't. It doesn't say anything about that. No, it doesn't say about that or that either. The thesis statement indicates your position or point of view. I am inclined to believe, but there's no outline. There's no outline. Where's it going? Okay. For animal rights campaigns or campaigners, that's the reason why animal animals should have equal should have equal rights or should have the same or should have equal rights the same as humans all forms of animals ranging from so they haven't even noted you know that should be third person s um example so they haven't 
they haven't marked every um, vocab error or grammar error here. Mm. Okay, okay. So let's let's see what we've got for the score. So I think that six for task achievement is fair. I think that's uh, fair. Grammar, no. There's too many grammar mistakes. That wouldn't be seven. That wouldn't be seven. Lexical resources, not bad. I would probably give it six. Cohesion, co coherence, mm, overuse of markers. So I. Mm. So this is not too bad. This is not too uh, bad. I would have probably marked it a little bit less, but still. So that's a general idea. Now I do have a, a sample and we'll take a look at this in a moment. So, okay, let's, uh, let's see an, an example now. So here's first of all, it's a, a typical um, a structure that we can use. So first, introduction. For sentence one, you simply have to paraphrase the question and restate both the views. Okay. Sentence two, uh, give your opinion because it says discuss both views and give your opinion and sentence three, we need an outline sentence. In other words, uh, <clears throat> what two main ideas are you intending to discuss in paragraph two and three? Then in your body, you state the first viewpoint, introduce it with a simple sentence. Some people think this, blah, blah, blah. Explain it, discuss it, give a specific focused example, give a conclusion, a summary, extend the example, or if you want to develop your um, viewpoint more, put the example in sentence four. Does not make a lot of difference really? Just as long as we have a logical uh, development of your idea. Same for body paragraph two, the opposite view. In conclusion, restate your ideas and give your opinion. Now you can also put your opinion in your body paragraphs two, and we'll see how in a, a second. So it's not exactly the same question, but it's more or less. It's uh, just worded in a slightly different way. Some people say it's okay to use animals, others say it's not good, okay. Discuss both views and express your opinion. So as you see, sentence one simply restates the topic, what's the two different views. According to some, animals exist to be exploited, others believe it is wrong. My opinion, I believe animal exploitation is acceptable. And I'm going to discuss use of animals as food, paragraph two, and uh, scientific experiments on animals in paragraph three. So, briefly introduce it. For many people, animals are a vital source of protein and nutrition. So then we need to ex explain this. They would argue that meat is a necessary part of diet and uh, cannot be replaced by other sources, etc. <coughs> right. Opinion, I would agree that in this um, case it's acceptable. So you can see that I'm making a concession here because the discussion essay is a much more balanced essay. Okay, and then a specific example. For example, a survey by the supermarket chain showed that 80%, etc. So the opposite view, uh, introduce it. However, some people have objections, especially for experimentation. Explain this. They object because they say that humans and animals are not the same. So this research is... Uh, uh, is useless. I agree up to a point. Again, I'm making a concession here because it's a balanced essay. However, many areas of research, such as cancer AIDS, cannot be 
be tested. OK, and then a specific example. For example, cancer research shows that over 90% of its members agreed, etc. Then conclusion, restate your views, express your own view again, and that would be that. So that's pretty much it. That's all that you have to um, do for this kind of essay. Keep it clear, direct answer the question, make sure you have an outline, you've got good reasons and examples, and that will be fine. So, there you are. Um, I hope that was useful for you. So, as you see, there's lots of different things in this particular example. There was a lot of grammar mistakes, only minor, you know, um, an article here, a preposition there, uh, a plural verb form, etc. But it adds up. So the grammar needed some um, uh, work. Cohesion, coherence wasn't too bad, but of overuse of discourse, furthermore, moreover, therefore, etc. And the task response needed a little bit of work. You know, the more general it is, the, you know, it's, it's not so um, good. So you have to be as precise as possible. You have to not make claims that cannot be justified. Try and spell out exactly what you're talking about. A disease, 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 what disease exactly? What are you talking about? So the more precision and focus you can put into your main ideas, and also the introduction didn't even have an outline sentence. So you've got to watch your, your paraphrasing, uh, have a clearly stated opinion, not I'm inclined to think, well, I'm inclined to all different kinds of things, you know, say yes, no, I agree, I disagree, in my opinion, make it crystal clear, give an outline, what's the two main views you're going to be talking about, etc. So that's it. I'll see you later. Bye for now. Audio jungle.